Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to correctly replace the oil in your 8 HP 70 gearbox. This is a BMW 530D with the N57 engine and this is a ZF 8 HP 70 gearbox as I mentioned. So I've removed the aluminium panels here, the heat shields and uh, a lot of covers underneath because I'm, this is part of the general maintenance that I'm doing on this car like timing chains and I've got covered almost like anything that you will need to do on this car this is the way you're going to have your car when you remove the plastic covers you're going to have one metal bracket here so when you remove the metal bracket you're going to have to remove this also bracket that uh, supports the exhaust pipe this is two 30 millimeter head bolts so just take them off remove the bracket because the bracket will obstruct the filler plug here we're gonna ignore this this is complete uh, nonsense here lifetime oil these uh, gearboxes are made by ZF and ZF says that they have to be serviced so I don't really know how BMW will get away with this but anyway, so it does show you that you have to change the, the oil between 40 and 50 degrees temperature when you're filling it. So we'll get to that later on. Uh, but what you want to do first is you, you want to crack this filler open. Now it is a bit difficult if this has never ever been done before. So you may want to get a little extension and that's what I did off camera. So I have loosened that this is 8 millimeter hex and just just loosen it just so you know that you can fill your gearbox because you don't want to end up removing this drain the oil and then not being able to open this strip it or something silly like that so you want to make sure that you can open it first and then we're gonna drain the oil and then remove the sump this is a plastic sump and it actually has a built-in filter in it so I don't believe this was ever replaced uh, and the car has 170,000 miles so that just shows you how neglected some cars could be. We're not going to be flushing the torque converter so the customer has decided that he's going to change it once and then after a while he's going to change it again. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter hex bit here to undo the plug. Let the oil drain and then we're going to remove the oil pan. We're just going to drop it. Obviously, this is a replaceable part, so you can't reuse it because the filter is integrated in it, as I mentioned. So we're going to use the Fabi kit, but I'm going to leave it a little bit more time for all the oil to drain. After that, we're going to drop the sump. The part number is 176857. I will include all this in the description. And the kit comes with the filter. For the sump, little instruction. This is the sump itself with all the bolts and the gasket. This is where the filter is, and that's the sump. This looks OEM, to be honest with you, so you're probably buying you're probably buying the same from BMW only at two or three times the price and look at look at Fabi so the, the gasket comes with the sump and look at all the bolts this all looks uh, that that's the top sump plug 
has a seal on it as well. So just proper job. This is what Febby does. This is, by the way, super heavy duty plastic. Um, and obviously, whenever you're taking the gearbox, it's strong enough to support the gearbox itself. And you've got two, four, six, eight liters of oil in case you need eight liters if you're changing, um, if you're flushing the whole system. Okay, after you've drained the oil, now let's start removing the T40 Torx bolts that hold the sump in place. After we drop that, then we're obviously going to clean up everything, install the new sump, pour some oil. Whenever it starts leaking through the filler hole, then we're going to start the engine. We're going to hook up ISTA to check the temperature and when the temperature is between 40 and 50 degrees then we're going to add more oil until it starts leaking out of the filler hole again and that will be it. Then you install the new, obviously in the kit we have all new plugs, bolts and everything. We're going to replace the filler plug, tighten everything to spec and that's the service done. Obviously you're not changing the oil as I mentioned in the torque converter but in time you can come back do another change and that means that you don't have to drop the torque converter gearbox and do it that way. So let's get started. After you remove the sump, clean up the gasket surface with brake cleaner and uh, now we're going to install the new sump with the new filter built into it. We're going to tighten all the bolts to 10 newton meters. I've just checked um, the drain plug that is tightened to 8 newton meters. That was tightened by Fabi by the manufacturer to the correct spec. So yeah, let's go ahead and install it in place. We'll start the threads uh, the bolts by hand. And then I might use a part or just to speed up the installation process. But you always want to start your bolts by hand because you don't want to strip the threads. So let's get started. So this is the way some people recommend you put a little bit of fresh oil on the seal. I've done that off camera just to lube it up a little bit. And you want to install the sump you're obviously going to have the o-ring in place so you certainly want to lube up the o-ring because you don't want to tear it that's what the manual recommends and by the way if you want to see the manual I can include it in the description so now let's go ahead push the sump in place that's what I wanted to hear just a firm click. So you just want to snug up the bolts, you don't want to tighten anything before you install all the bolts. Don't force anything, everything should align perfectly. If the threads are not starting up properly, just undo a little bit and then just start again by hand. Do not use any power tool at this point. And now let's tighten up the spec. That's all done. All tightened up to 10 newton meters, as I said, the sump plug that's tightened by the manufacturer to 8 newton meters. So we're not gonna, I've just checked it, but we're not obviously gonna 
tighten there. Now I'm gonna remove the old plug and later on I'm gonna install the new plug with the new seal. What you have to do now is fill up until it starts leaking. When it starts leaking we're gonna start the engine and we're gonna fill up the rest until it starts leaking again between 40 and 50 degrees temperature and we're gonna hook up the Easter Plus diagnostic tool and check the transmission temperature 